And Mohammed, help me out here. If we're thinking about the risk of higher prices hurting demand, why should the Fed step in in any way, shape or form if the economy can just take care of business for them? Because it relates to your earlier question in part. And, and let me explain why. The only reason we would end up in stagflation is because of a policy mistake. As Rick rightly says, it is a risk. I think of it as a tail risk. Um, low probability, but consequential enough for us to pay attention to it. It becomes a baseline if the Fed delays and delays and delays, and if it then has to slam on the brakes. So we do not end up in stagflation unless we get an even bigger policy mistake. So that, that's the first issue. The second issue is that you've got to figure out that there's massive compositional issue in the economy. So just saying the economy will take care of it will mean that there will be a lot of hardship for, for certain companies who don't have pricing power. Not every company has pricing power. The, comp the economy as a whole has pricing power, but it's vastly different depending on where you are um, in the economy and what your competitive landscape is like. So you worry because the distribution is so uneven that you can't just let the market, the economy take care of it because it will take care of it at a lower equilibrium level than we could otherwise achieve.